the Ancient of Days, the Mystery, the 42 Assessors sitting on those thrones, the thrones being prepared, Ani, the prototypical figure representing each one having their heart weighed against the feather of truth. You must recall the ancient scriptures were written with a feather. A Rastafari revelation. He who sits on that throne, that true throne of great King David. They said he died. And we say he resurrected. He lives. Proof. Positive. Now when we look at the psalm over here, we look at psalm, the psalm we were looking for before. It was this Psalm 122. We had touched on the by the rivers of Babylon, but then we recall it was actually this particular Psalm 122. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord, yod Hey, wow Hey, yahweh Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city that is compact together. Whither the tribes go up, the tribes of Yahweh, to the testimony of Israel to give thanks, as we Rastafari said, to give young for Isis to the name of Yahweh or Jah, if you please. Here, for there are what set thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. See, here's here's the key link between the thrones here. And the thrones that we find in Daniel, in Daniel chapter 7. But instead of cast down, the Jews are more correct here in the Masoretic with, I beheld till thrones were placed. But then we have to go to Egypt where Moses, Moshe, our lawgiver, was learned in all the wisdom or the mystery, the wisdom of the Egyptians and find the 42 Assessors right here, all sitting on smaller but like thrones. Now, let's just count something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, you notice ten, but notice over here. It's more than one person right here. Ten, eleven. And then we have over here, we have twelve. Though they tell us it's forty-two. We count over here, we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But then if you go in close, you see it's two people here. So that would be 10, 11. Notice there's not two people, there's two here. So we can say 12 from that. Notice. So we have 12. No, only these two right here are doubled up. This one and this one here. So they tell us it's 42 assessors. But if we, <laughs> they say, who are we to believe? The so-called our lying eyes, you understand? But they tell us, or our lying ears. But if we count it and look at it and study it for ourselves, there are, there are 10 and two of them are double. This one and this one right here. And then the supreme judge over here is one. So we have 12, 12, and we have one, or like Christ, and the 12 disciples, or like Christ, and the 12 apostles, or like God, the bridegroom, the Messiah, and the 12 tribes of Israel. So we have this whole judgment scene right here. So Daniel 9 and 7 compare with Psalm 122 and 5. For there are set thrones of judgment. The thrones are of the house of David. Now, if you do a study on David... David links with Tahuti, Tahuti, which is thought. You understand? And thought, where's thought? This is Tahuti. 
What is Tahuti doing right here? He's writing. You understand? He is the one that is the recorder. He's the one that's the writer. Also notice, if you will, um, the sash right there and which shoulder the sash is on. Notice the difference between how the Europeans wear the sash or the European orders and the order of his majesty. The order of his majesty is in tune with this particular order because ancient Ethiopia is the root of the Nile. So we have this all being fulfilled. Notice right here the heart over here is weighed against the feather, you understand? And it's that same feather, in that sense, or quill, which the recorder is writing. But in the fulfillment of Rastafari revelation, we have His Imperial Majesty, the Ancient of Days. And as it says in Revelation, just to show you this picture right here, because some, you know, where's Rastafari should run away from when they say, oh, his majesty died, oh, his majesty was killed, if they say. We shouldn't run away from that. Instead, we should show them what the scripture says. Because what does the scripture say? The scripture says right here in the book of Revelation of St. John the Divine, chapter 1, it says, And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. This is the what? Book of the so-called dead, even though it's the coming forth by day, but they call it the book of the dead, right? And then we bring it back over here to verse uh, 17. It says, and when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. One thing I always notice, they'll put Christ's words in red, but whenever God or Christ is speaking, they always keep the H or he, him or his in lowercase like everybody else. That doesn't show too much respect. Anyway, and when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead, and he laid his right hand upon me, saying to me, Fear not, F fear not, I am the first and the last. Do you remember from part one what the Jewish reference to the Ancient of Days said? Ancient of Days, an apocalyptic description of the eternal God who is the first and the last, Isaiah XLIV or 44 and 6. Let us continue. I am he that liveth and was dead. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, look and see. See, look in sight. Here it is. I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of hell, or Sheol, what the Egyptians call the duat, and of death. This right here is a scene of the judgment scene, or the duat. And if you recall from the footnote to the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 9, concerning death, when it spoke about fire. You remember that portion? Fiery flames as the most destructive as well as useful of the elements. Fire is the medium through which in the Bible God often manifests himself. Moses was revealed God in the burning bush. He being the source of what? Death as well as of life. And for Theophanes amidst flames, once again, Genesis 15 and 17, Exodus 3 and 2, Exodus uh 19 and 18 wheels the heavenly throne is conceived as a chariot as in Ezekiel's vision of the Merkaba and some of y'all might know a little bit more about the Merkaba um, Ezekiel 1 and 15 and um, for some of you haters of his majesty especially the Ethiopians check this part out right here a fiery stream right Psalms L3, which is um, 50, 
Psalm 50 and 3, and XCVII, which is uh, 97 and 3. It says it symbolized the irresistibility of God's might and his unapproachableness, as well as the divine agency for the what? Execution of his sentence upon the guilty. So behold, as Revelation says, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of Sheol, or the Duat, and of death. Give thanks and praise. Shalom Rastafari.